now that we know that everything we hold dear in this world is a lie, <laughs> especially about the Middle East, it makes you wonder, what is going on over there? A wave of crises in Gulfy countries all across the Middle East. In the Middle East, things are just basically falling apart. Big trouble in the country of Yemen. A growing terrorism problem in Egypt. A very, very gruesome uh, and ugly battle over there. Here to help us make sense of all that is Egypt's foremost political satirist, host of the now banned television program, Al Bernameg, Bassem Youssef. Bassem, thanks for joining us. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Good to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Bassem, uh, uh, yeah. obviously right now the Middle East spiraling out of control. So, so tell me, what, what should America do about this? Well, how about nothing? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Yes. I feel the love, yes. Yeah. I, uh, okay, we haven't tried that one yet. <laughs> yeah. We noticed. How do you think our region got this way in the first place? For decades, America propped up a who's who of military and theocratic dictators. They gave you what you wanted. Oil, airfields, oil, security arrangements, oil. <laughs> and uh, let's not forget a few torture black sites. Hey, hey. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? Uh, we know what you're into. Mr. Gray will see you now. <laughs> and in return, the dictators got someone their people could hate instead of them. When the garbage back home doesn't get picked up for a week, who do you think people blame? I'm gonna go with the, that's an easy one, I'm gonna go with the sanitation department. Exactly, we blame America. <laughs> so you see, Everybody gets what they want. It's a win-win, John. But not a win-win, Bossom. Not a win-win. Not for the people. For them, it's a it's a lose-lose, and then no garbage pickup lose. Oh, the people. <laughs> uh, you don't want them choosing their own government, John. No, I, I don't. Yeah. What if they elect someone America doesn't want? If you had a friend who was a manager at Best Buy, but he's always a total asshole, would you want him fired? I mean, if I would lose my friends and family discount, then I... Oh. Ah. <laughs> You're saying the next guy might make us pay retail. Yeah, if he even lets you in the store, John. Well, you know what? That's okay. If the people choose the wrong government, we'll help them get it right. We'll send in a few tanks, maybe some boots on the ground, some advisors, you know. To... Uh, are you listening to yourself, John? Let it go. Let it go, let it go, slam the door wow. and... Okay. I thought drones were the worst thing we exported to that region. That's... <laughs> Princess. <laughs> She's oh, just... the devil. I know. All right. Seriously, though, you can't let it go. America is like a dog with a hot spot on its butt, called the Middle East. And you think you have to keep licking it, but you're just making it worse. <laughs> Are you saying, mm -hmm. are you saying that America has to... Uh-huh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, not the you cone. You need the cone, John. Not the cone. America needs the no. cone, yes. We didn't get rid of yeah. the cone. Yeah. Yeah. Son of a Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? You're doing it, too. What? You're blaming America. Uh, what? Me? Yes, you are. You're pretending that we're responsible for all the Middle East problems. <laughs> no. Admit it. That hot spot on our butt was festering before we even licked it. Gross. Yeah, Ew, see? No. Blaming the dog. The metaphor was yours. Look, America didn't create all the corruption that cripples Middle Eastern governments. We didn't establish the entire patriarchy or the medieval justice systems. You know what? I got a song for you, buddy. Uh, I'm so fancy. No, that's not it. <laughs> we didn't start the fire because it was all f***ed up before we even got there. Let it go. Oh, stop! <laughs> I'll ask you one more time. What should America do? Okay. We want you to fuck off and leave us alone. All right, fine. You know what? Fine. Yeah. Fine. Done. Yeah. But not right away. <laughs> we could still use the aid money. <laughs> and a few weapons. And some investments. <laughs> what I'm saying is, if you could gradually off, that would work better for everybody. Fasten Yusuf, everybody. <laughs>